How you doing guys? The whole concept of zone defense is keeping everything in front of the defenders so you don't get beat deep. So when the offense sees this and starts to throw short passes and pick up yards, I know it can get awfully frustrating to watch. But a lot of times it's not the defensive call that's the main problem. So let's go inside the huddle presented by John Hinderer Power Store. This is what we call the bubble screen. It's a good play call against defenses that like to play cover three because it forces defenders to rally to the ball and make tackles in open space. Let's take a closer look. The defense is in cover three, meaning three men in deep coverage. The backside corner has the deep third, the free safety has the deep middle, and the field corner has the other deep third. The other safety is walked down with curl to flat responsibilities. He's the one technically responsible for the bubble play. Anything outside and short is his job. But here's why it's a good play call versus cover three. With the corner sitting back to play his deep part of the field, the offense can create a one-on-one -on -one matchup in the open field by bubbling the inside receiver out and crack blocking inside with the outside receiver. Now it's mano y mano on the edge with 10 yards of separation in between. Not an easy task for any defender, but there's an answer if the players use their technique. The technique is called crack and replace. Remember we said that the walk down safety has anything short and outside? Well now, as soon as the corner reads the bubbling receiver and then sees the crackdown block, he must replace the safety and take over his job in the short and outside zone. In simple terms, now there's no reason to sit back and wait. Point, aim, shoot your gun right through the runner's chin strap. Instead, the corner doesn't gain any ground, in fact, not even one yard, unless the receiver waltz up field for seven yards, and more importantly, a first down. Zone defense is about two things, reading and reacting. Once you read the play, there's no more thinking. Reactions must become second nature. Otherwise, you'll be watching the offense run up and down the field all game.